JavaScript has evolved. It's no longer just for basic web interactions. Advanced JavaScript unlocks powerful capabilities. Mastering these concepts is key for modern web development. This journey into advanced JavaScript will equip you with essential tools. We'll delve into object-oriented programming, asynchronous JavaScript, and popular libraries like jQuery. Object-oriented programming, or OOP, is a powerful paradigm. It structures code around objects which encapsulate data and behavior. JavaScript implements OOP using prototypes providing flexibility and power. We'll explore classes, objects, prototypes, inheritance, and polymorphism, key concepts in OOP. Understanding these concepts is crucial for building complex and maintainable web applications. In JavaScript, classes act as blueprints for creating objects. They provide a structured way to define the properties and behaviors that the objects created from these classes will have. They define properties or data and methods which are functions that objects of that class will possess. This means that every object created from a class will have the same set of properties and methods, ensuring consistency and predictability in your code. For example, a class might have properties like make, model, and year. These properties store information about the object. Additionally, it might have methods like start engine and stop engine, which define behaviors or actions that the object can perform. This way, you can create multiple objects from the same class, each with its own unique set of property values but sharing the same methods. Classes promote code organization and reusability. By defining a class once, you can create as many objects as you need without having to rewrite the same code over and over again. When you instantiate a class, you create an object. This process involves calling the class constructor, which initializes the object's properties with specific values. This object is an instance of the class, inheriting all its properties and methods. This means that it can use all the functions defined in the class and access all the data stored in its properties, making it a powerful tool for building complex applications. Prototypes are the mechanism behind inheritance in JavaScript. Every object in JavaScript has a prototype, which is another object it can inherit properties and methods from. Think of it as a chain of objects. When you access a property or method on an object, JavaScript first checks if the object itself has it. If not, it goes up the prototype chain until it finds it or reaches the end. Section 5. Inheritance reusability, and extension. Inheritance is a cornerstone of object-oriented programming. It is a fundamental concept that allows for the creation of new classes based on existing ones. By inheriting the characteristics of existing classes, new classes can be created with ease, promoting code reuse and efficiency. For example, you could have a base class called vehicle. From this base class, you can create more specific classes like car and motorcycle. These subclasses inherit the properties and methods of the vehicle class, such as speed and fuel capacity. However, they can also have their own specialized properties and methods. For instance, a car class might have a trunk size property, while a motorcycle class might have a helmet storage property. This ability to extend existing classes and add new features makes inheritance a powerful tool in software development. The hierarchical structure created by inheritance not only makes the code more organized, but also easier to maintain and debug. When changes are made to the base class, those changes are automatically inherited by all subclasses, reducing the need for redundant code. This leads to a more efficient development process and a more robust and scalable code base. Inheritance, therefore, is not just about reusability but also about extending functionality in a controlled and logical manner. By understanding and implementing inheritance, developers can create more flexible and adaptable software solutions, paving the way for innovation and improvement in their projects. Section 6. Polymorphism, the art of flexibility. Polymorphism enables objects of different classes to be treated as objects of a common type. This concept allows you to write more generic code. For example, you could have a method for both A and a class, even though they draw differently. This is polymorphism in action. The same method call can have different implementations depending on the object it's called on. Section 7. Asynchronous JavaScript. Embracing non-blocking. JavaScript is single-threaded, meaning it executes code line by line. 
However many operations like fetching data from a server are asynchronous, they don't provide an immediate result. Asynchronous JavaScript allows your code to continue running without blocking on these operations. This is crucial for building responsive web applications. Imagine a web page that freezes while loading data. That's a bad user experience. Section 8. Promises, Handling Asynchronous Operations Elegantly Promises are a powerful tool for managing asynchronous operations. A promise represents the eventual result of an asynchronous operation. It can be in one of three states, pending, resolved, successful, or rejected, failed. Promises provide methods like and to handle the result when the promise settles. This structured approach makes asynchronous code more readable and easier to reason about. Section 9. Async await syntactic sugar for asynchronous bliss. Async await builds on promises, offering a cleaner syntax for handling asynchronous operations. And function can use the keyword to pause execution until a promise is resolved. This allows you to write asynchronous code that looks more like synchronous code, making it more readable and maintainable. Async await simplifies complex asynchronous flows, making your code easier to understand and debug. Section 10. Fetch API and AJAX, communicating with servers. Web applications often need to communicate with servers to fetch or send data. AJAX, or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, allows you to do this without reloading the entire page. The Fetch API provides a modern and more ergonomic way to make network requests. It simplifies the process of sending and receiving data from servers, making your web applications more dynamic and interactive. Section 11, JavaScript Libraries and Frameworks, jQuery and DOM Manipulation. In this section, we will explore the powerful capabilities of jQuery, a widely used JavaScript library that simplifies many of the complex tasks involved in web development. JavaScript libraries and frameworks provide pre-written code to simplify common tasks. These tools are essential for developers as they save time and effort, allowing them to focus on building unique features rather than reinventing the wheel. By leveraging these libraries, developers can write less code and achieve more functionality. jQuery is a popular library known for its ease of use in DOM manipulation. It provides a simple syntax that makes it easy to select elements, handle events, and create animations. This simplicity has made jQuery a favorite among developers for many years. The DOM, or Document Object Model, represents the structure of a web page. It is a programming interface that allows scripts to update the content, structure, and style of a document while it is being viewed. Understanding the DOM is crucial for manipulating web pages dynamically. With jQuery, you can easily select, modify, and manipulate elements on a web page. For example, you can change the text of an element, hide or show elements, and even add new elements to the page. This makes it incredibly powerful for creating dynamic and interactive web experiences. This simplifies tasks like handling events, animating elements, and making AJAX requests. Event handling allows you to respond to user actions such as clicks and key presses. Animations can make your web pages more engaging by adding visual effects. AJAX requests enable you to load data from a server without refreshing the page, creating a smoother user experience. Mastering these advanced JavaScript concepts is crucial for any aspiring web developer. By understanding how to use jQuery and other libraries, you can build more sophisticated and efficient web applications. Collaboration with other developers also becomes easier when you are familiar with these common tools and techniques. They provide the tools to build sophisticated, interactive, and responsive web applications. Responsive design ensures that your web applications look and function well on a variety of devices, from desktops to smartphones. This is essential in today's multi-device world where users expect seamless experiences across all their devices. As you delve deeper, you'll discover even more powerful capabilities that JavaScript offers. Advanced features such as asynchronous programming, modular code organization, and modern frameworks like React and Angular can take your web development skills to the next level. By continuously learning and experimenting, you can stay ahead in the ever-evolving field of web development.